Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender and this one is an announcement for Power Backup which is an add-on by Bonjourno7, creator of PowerSafe, PowerLink and also member of Team C on Hardops and Boxcutter. Now PowerSafe is a brilliant add-on, it's a very small one, you know, if you don't know it, have a, have a go at it. It's just a lifesaver when it Blender crashes and it crashes quite often sometimes, especially when you use a lot of add-ons. But uh, Power Backup is something just genius it's just something i've been waiting for for so goddamn long now power backup is literally one click restore of everything in blender your add-ons your add-on settings your preferences your hdri loaded your your you know settings for your render engines your compositor like everything in one click comes back it's genius so check this out i'm gonna show what i have installed i have my compositor set up i got my uh, I got my uh, HDRI loaded in here on the shader, on the world, okay, all my settings are here. I got tons of add-ons, right, I got all my, you know, render settings um, dialed in with, you know, dimensions and custom uh, file uh, file quality, so if I go to output, you can see it's TIFF 16, etc, right, so everything is set in here and customized the way I like, all my add-ons are set up, you know, my hard ops, um, in fact, hard ops isn't because I was loading a new version, so let's actually uh, put some settings in here and see if we, you know, everything is uh, fine and dandy. And if it isn't, we're just going to update it really quickly. There you go. So you can see that actually I'm changing stuff around. Now let's actually save this file as a startup file, okay? Whoops, not this one. Uh, save as a startup file. Now let's say that I wanted to, you know, I wanted to purge everything. I wanted to delete the Blender and I also wanted to... Uh, delete the config file because that's the proper way of uninstalling blender you need to go here after uninstallation of blender you have to go here and delete that file which consists the config file and that will purge everything from blender right so now let's let's use power backup and power backup is located if you have power safe uh, and power backup it's going to be located under power safe but if you don't it's just going to be a separate window and all you need to do is simply click on backup i'm going to delete this one and save preferences and that's it you're done okay you just that's it that's all you do and now let's go ahead and restore blender to factory settings okay come on right and then on top of this one i'm going to close blender Right, and I'm going to purge all this, all these settings, like everything gone, right? The whole folder with all the add-ons and everything. Gone. Now, when I open 2.9, it's just going to reset everything, including the window size, you know, everything. So let's bring this back in here so you can see what I'm doing, right? Okay, and now I'm going to adjust the size of the UI because it's just too bloody small. There you go. And all you need to do, right, all you need to do is simply load the add-ons that do not come with Blender because PowerSafe, Power Backup actually is going to remember add-ons that you installed from Blender, but the add-ons that do not come with Blender naturally need to load them back in. But you don't have to install them. All you need to do is simply load them in. So I'm going to go to my uh, to my add-on folder and I'm going to install just a few because I don't want to install everything, but I'm going to install hard ops. I'm going to install a uh, box cutter. I'm going to install Dika machine, which actually has uh, uh, custom links in it. So we can check if it's actually working. So where's my Dika machine 2.0 There's the one uh, Dika machine. And then we need, uh, we can actually go ahead with kit ops as well. Uh, where is kit ops here? Kit ops pro two. That's better. Now, Kitops, 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 where's my Kitops? There you go. Uh, Kitops 2. And let's go ahead with Power Save. And I'm going to enable it, by the way. And I'm going to enable Power Backup. Power Backup. Okay. And let's just close the window. So now, all I need to do, right, all I need to do is go to N, 
power save, restore, and load this file, right? It might take a while to load depending on how many settings you got. And all you need to do now here is just reset the scene. So go to new, general, and don't save. And boom. And check this out. All my settings in the card ops are, are in here. Did you remember when I took them on? All my settings on the, um, on the box cutter, even the way I left the windows open, all, all is in here. All my compositor settings are in here, okay? All my shader editor settings for my, uh, not compositor, for my world are in here, including my HDRI. All my cycle settings or my dimensions or my output files, everything is the way it's been there. And this add-on also, in addition to all this, enabled Hardobs, box cutter, and deco machine. Now, if I'm gonna go to deco machine, boom, all my libraries are loaded automatically to deco machine. Everything is back in here, meaning, meaning that this add-on actually remembered my custom path of deco machine. Okay, remembered everything. So this add-on is probably the best way of reducing blood pressure in 2020. Okay, so if you got problem with your blood pressure, just get that thing, and it's gonna sort it unbelievable stuff i just bloody love it i've been playing with it for some time when it was in development and i couldn't wait for this release this is my literally my favorite add-on it's just so small and so insignificant but when you reinstall the blender it's just becoming um, you know a life-saving thing i love it anyway guys i highly recommend it is for anyone who's using add-ons and you know hates reinstalling blender and uh, because it takes time and if you have to do it on three blenders it's gonna take you know almost one hour because you, you cannot copy i mean you could copy config files but i wouldn't recommend it so you need to do it for every single brand blender that you use which is a nightmare and this thing just does it in one click which is brilliant so anyway guys highly recommend the add-on links to a bonjourno store in video description definitely check out power save as well because power save is actually free and it's a genius add-on as well save me so many times you know because when blender crashes the autosave from blender is not reliable i had many problems and many times i lost my work but power save never never failed me always there when i need it when blender crashes i just don't care i don't care because you know my stuff is back and now we have power backup and also check out power link which is um and that it allows you to append stuff from other files into Blender. So it's it's um, it's it's a pretty cool one as well. Anyway guys, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and sub if you did. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.